Welcome back to the channel and an initial video on a review of the MTR105 rotating machine tester from Mega. And what I thought I'd do to start the review off is to take a look at the instrument and its use on this little mock-up of a inverter and motor drive system. So this is a very basic setup. I'll put up a schematic of the circuit so you can have a look at that. But it's just basically this little Invertec inverter drive here a forward reverse control and speed control here over on the left and then a little three phase motor that will test with the MTR105 before we power it up. So everything is dead at this moment in time I'm pretty sure. I'll just have a check because I really won't want to zap myself. So these are the three wires. They're all dead. And the motor is dead as well. Okay, so all dead and no charge stored in the inverter. Okay, so before I can do anything with this insulation tester, if I want to save records, I actually have to set up a memory location before I do any testing, which is the opposite to their MIT 420 series. Okay, so from the setup screen here, I'm going to create a new tag. And this is not much fun, but it's the only way that you can actually do this as far as I'm aware. So this is a 0.25 kilowatt tech motor. This is so bad. Just bear with me for a couple more hours and I'm sure I can get there. Now there is no space available on this either. So what we have to do is put a dash in. It's just there. see and there's my tag Hit the save button and it will save it and you can see the save icon is here next to the tag that it's going to save all these tests to so now we've done that we can flip him back to whichever test we want to do first okay so when I start off doing dead tests I will do the winding resistance test first on the mega I have two options I have four wire method or a two wire method I'm going to use the four wire method for this particular test and then I'll use the two wire for the earth bond so you can see I'm set up here those are the connections in the top if at any point you get stuck with the connections you can press the help button and it shows you what they are there if I zoom in so I will show a picture of the actual connections as well let's go back to him but you will see the motor is wired in delta and you will see it says the motor does a pre-test to show that all the connections are in place and you hit the go button and this was set up for a bi-directional test so there's my reading I hit the save button Tells me it saved it, and then I'll move on to V and uh, V and W phases. Test them again. Save him, and the final one will be W to U. Tests. And then we save him as well. Okay, so that's the winding resistance, all pretty well balanced there, no problems. 
What I'm going to do is move to a two-wire test to test out the earth bond between the motor and the inverter. Okay, so panned around a bit and we've changed the leads over. I'm going to move to a two-wire test. I need to zero this. To zero it, I hit the test button there. And we're now zeroed. So that's one connection on the earth there. And we go to the earth on the inverter. And there's my earth reading. And we can save him as well. Okay, that's that done. Okay, so we've done earth bond tests. Uh, next motor test is Mega's way of doing an inter turn winding fault, and that's using the LCR so it will measure the inductance or we'll switch it to inductance. Same connections, same leads, and we'll go. And we'll hit the test button again. So again, I'm looking for a balanced reading with this. So once you've started the tests off, it then does them automatically after that. And again, that's nicely balanced. So no problems there. Okay, so now I can move to an insulation test. So we'll move around, we're in delta, so it's a 250 volt motor. Um, what I will do is I have the option with this to do a temperature compensated test. And we can turn on with that. Um, you will see if I hit the test button, the temperature is missing. So what I actually need to go back to do is go back to temperature setting. Um, Plug him, put the thermocouple in, stick him on the motor. So we'll save him, and plug him, go back to insulation test. And now you can see the temperature has actually appeared in the screen. So we will So the motor's wired in delta. So this is a single insulation test. The temperature conversation is a spot test. So I will hit the go button. And it tells me it's doing it to a class B motor and the reference temperature I'm having is 25 degrees C. And that's my reading there. So this is my actual reading that it's picking up. And when I let go of the button, 2.26, it's then done the calculation to give me the actual resistance at the temperature I requested. Because I'm at 21.4 degrees C, uh, you see it was 2.26 on the screen. It's now dropped to 1.91 at 25 degrees C. Um, so that's one methodology of using this for a test and for such a small motor that's all the test I'll do this is dead small random wound it won't have a dielectric absorption ratio or pi ratio so I wouldn't do either of those tests on this kind of motor. Okay. Alrighty having done the insulation test this instrument has a fairly unique direction of rotation test for three-phase motor. Obviously a three-phase motor depending on how you connect up the phases you can change it between clockwise or anti-clockwise direction of rotation. So this instrument has a test that will show you that. Um, there's the screen there for the connections and AC there at the top and all I need to do is to go on to reds on to U, black is on to V and blue is onto W. And then what I need to do is spin the actual motor in the direction that I want. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
So if I spin that. Okay, so that's telling me if I connect this motor up, L1, L2, L3, which handily goes UVW on there, then that motor should spin in this direction. So my next element from that, let's hit the save button. What I can do now is switch this to the voltage mode and I have a similar rotation meter for voltage. So if I connect this up that way, that way and that way. And if I now energize everything, and I can now turn this on into forward mode. Voltage out. It's interesting. Ooh. So it's not picking it up because oh, it thinks it's greater than 400 hertz. Because there's a mismatch in the voltages, it won't actually pick up a direction of rotation. And it thinks it's greater than 400 hertz or zero hertz. Obviously, it doesn't like being on an inverter then. Okay, that's fault number one. That's not worked out as we planned. Save it anyway. So that's not worked. Okay, we'll connect this up. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll connect this one up based upon uh, UVW. To L1, L2, L3 on the inverter. So, what I'll just do uh, I just wonder if. Uh, it will respond any better when the motor's connected up. Forward. So you can see hopefully that motor is going but again the meter reading that's not good Let's see if we can uh, zoom in there and uh, so you can see the motor's running but 225 329 thousand going all over the place uh, I'll just disconnect the third lead and let's go AC, DC, AC. So, yeah, it still bounces around a little bit. It's a bit better on single phase measurement, but. Uh, fairly balanced there, I guess. Yeah, three phase doesn't appear to work. Interesting. Okay, so that's it. That's the basics of the MTR105 rotating machine tester. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I'll start to produce some videos based on each of the functions of the MTR105. So if you want to catch those videos, hit the subscribe button and the notifications, and you'll pick them up when they come out. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.